If they're not already on the back, put them on their back by a heel toss, right? That's simply, it's just by deadlifting, squat them in, push those legs in. Look at a little note to make this a little bit easier. I could drive the, the legs in, and then as she goes to retract back, I guide them out to the side. Or if she's not giving me like any any pressure with these legs, I'm gonna pull them up to my hips and then do my hip throw and guide. But I'm guiding them over one of these legs. Whatever one's usually forward is the one that I pick, it makes it easier. But if I wanna switch, then I step into it, right? And now I'm feeding this arm into my armpit, I'm ditching that one down low, and I'm coming to the knee. I pull this in tight, I start squatting, and I want you guys to like single leg squat into one side. The side that I'm stapling over is the side I want you to shift towards, okay? You're gonna feel like you're pulling this knee all the way in past your body and then drape your body over it. That way I can bring my elbows to the ground somewhere, uh, say just by her shoulders, upper body right here, just cause I'm gonna get ready to, to turn out, right? So this is like my load, I pull, I load in. Once my chest stays low and, and, is, and is safe, like connected chest to chest, that's my swivel point, right? So I'm gonna cut the angle, give her a pillow, and then think knee to elbow connection right away. So I cut the angle by swiveling on the chest, I give her a pillow, and then knee to elbow connection right away. Same feeling, knee to elbow on the far side. It should feel like I'm pinching the hip between my knee and my elbow. That way when she goes to shrimp, move, do whatever, I can follow really easy. It's like it's pulling me to her the whole time. Versus being out here and just trying to smash, now she can move her hips all around and create distance. When that's all pinched, and I keep that pinch and just focus on, say, those clamps right there, go ahead and start moving. It attaches me to her and makes me feel like I'm way heavier than I am. Add that in with the pressure drop of, you know, my chest dropping all the way in, me getting the weight off of my elbows and into her. Now my arms are mobile so I can base. I'm heavy right here on her chest, but not only are they mobile, they're always pinching into the body. So I'm here, I can base, elbows tight, need an elbow connection here behind the head. And then just as an added little detail, notice the cross face that's happening, right? I don't want to just be complacent and let her head be down, right? I'm giving her the pillow, but I'm turning her face like I'm trying to make her look that outside direction. Does that make sense? So give her that cross face, knee to elbow this side, knee to elbow this side. And if you don't know what to do with this hand or your hands in general, they're either going to be on the ground or curling their arm and, and head up, right? If she's hugging me like something like this, this is where I'll, I'll kind of shelf that shoulder in. I'll shelf this head up a little bit. If she's bucking wild, getting crazy, I'll find my base, but keeping the knee to elbow pinch together. Does that make sense? So again, a little bit less here. Make the heels come up, bring them to the hips, and I'm shuffling them over the side, right? As I do that, I can take a little step, make it easier, or if my legs are already there, boom, I just keep it, right? Keep it in front, ditch that outside leg, come to the knee, drop my knee down, shift my weight into that, that single leg squat. If I staple, it's no big deal. The only thing, the only reason why I don't like to staple nowadays is because people start hooking that and doing all kinds of different weird leg attacks, like in here like this, yeah. <clears throat> so when you get stuck in there and you go to back step, she has that arm hooked and she's starting to, to create weird space and, and it's annoying, right? <clears throat> so instead, I always like think like the top of my shin bone, right on that thigh as I pull the shelf. That way when I go to sprawl and circle, my knee's gonna clear out no problem. Give her the pillow, check the elbows, knee, knee to elbow connection. I should be nice and heavy by, uh, after that, I drop on my weight, I'm nice and heavy, not going anywhere, I'm good. You good? Yeah. Nah, she ain't good. <laughs> no, give her the cross face, guys. And then again, hands on the ground or controlling the person. You know what I mean? Never together, because if she gives a good bridge and roll over those hands and I can't stop it, can't base, she just highlighted real me. All right? <laughs> Last time, heel toss, leg drag. Staple this all the way down, just pressure the knee down, shoot this knee past, and then drape your body chest to chest. Give her the pillow as I circle, boom, elbow connection right away. Elbow connection like if I'm trying to touch knee and elbow together, and then knee where she goes, I just follow, right? <coughs> Questions, guys? Anybody hear it on two, one, two. No high five? <coughs>